Dana, Dana down, uh, um, down here to your left. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead. From All right, I'll go. Go ahead. I got you next. Uh, you, you talked about um, Aspinall obviously potentially fighting John. That's uh, John and Stipe are is November, John keeps saying November 9th. Is there any possibility that Asmo could be the backup for that fight? 100%. We'd be insane not to make him the backup for that fight. And do you think that performance, um, well, John is at the stage of his career where he only wants to take fights that really get his competitive juices flowing. Do you think that type of performance there from Tom Asmo would potentially get him to shell potential? Listen, John Jones is no dummy. John Jones, you know, has a very high fight IQ. He, he knows what Aspinall's got and what he's about. Um, I think that we're going to have to see what happens with this fight with Stipe, see where John's head is, or if Stipe wins, see where his head is, and let's see what they want to do. Is it their last fight? Are they going to retire? Um, I think that if Stipe wins, he, he probably will, but I think if John Jones wins, I think that uh, I, I just think that that competitive spirit that he has and and his uh, desire to prove to the world that he's the best, especially when people are saying he could be, you know, possibly the best ever. I think that's the kind of shit that fires John Jones up. Um, w would you be a bit pissed if either him or Stipe did call it a day afterwards? W w would what? Would you be a bit, like, pissed or a bit sad that they call it a day after that fight? I'm sorry, I don't understand one would word. You after after retire. That's what I mean. Retire if he retires? Yeah. If both retire? Oh, fucking that'll suck. <laughs> that'll suck. I don't know what we'll do if that happens. I guess then, my guy, there we go. There we go. He slides right in and the world is happy. <laughs>